ladies and gents, UK video game pirate. I thought I'd bring you two videos in one day. I didn't feel like the one I'd done earlier was long enough for you because I do like a nice long video. And hopefully, for my taste, this will be a long video. I think I've got 74 games to get through here. And so I'm starting with the original NES. Got it probably 1987, 1988, maybe Christmas 1988. I can't really remember. But I got the action set with a red gun, Mario Brothers duck hunt combo. But the problem was, I felt with the NES, I got the Amiga 500 like Christmas 1989. And like when I compared that to my NES, I was like, it felt inferior. But I remember when Gremlins 2 came out and Super Mario Bros. 3, that really did bring me back because I loved them games on NES and they're games I actually owned back in the day. But let's start with the first game here. And what better game to start with than the original Super Mario Bros. I first played this around my friend's house and obviously that led me to get an NES and what a legendary game it has ended up being and what a series that continues on to this day and then secondly the second one Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, yet again I played this around the same person's house back in the day he seemed to get every new NES game that come out um, yeah again I, I love the four character choices back in the game I used to mix between which ones I would choose. I remember when I was a kid, made sure I played with all of them. But yet again, really great game. Now, this was one I actually owned as a kid. I think I probably got this, it actually came out later in the UK than everywhere, well, Europe and the UK. It came out in 1991, I think, over here. So it might have been Christmas 1991 I got this. And I absolutely loved it. I played it all Christmas. And if, this is one of the best Super Mario Bros. games that has ever come out, in my opinion. Also, another great game my friend owned back in the day. I used to borrow it off him. The original DuckTales. Uh, the, yes, again, this game is legendary. Made a remastered version of it. When was it? In 2011, 2010, something like that. But still very playable to this day. And the legendary music, of course. Everyone likes it. So that's the first DuckTales. Then very similar to the first one. Gameplay style. No, not good music, I'd say, but this can be a very expensive game these days. But I try not to judge judge a game on its value. I try to judge a game on its quality. So, like a game, if it's really expensive, it's only good to me if the actual game's good or if I want to play it. I I don't really want to put an expensive piece of crap on my shelf to pay, tell you the truth. But and yet again. DuckTales 2, very similar to the first one, great game. Right, and next series, starting off here with the original Mega Man. This was another game I played around my friend's house. I have a lot of nostalgia for the cover of this game, I tell you the truth. I remember always seeing it in Woolworths, near where I lived. And I do actually prefer the box art we got over here in the UK than they did in the United States for the Mega Man games. I don't know how you feel about that. Let me know in the comments below. And secondly, the second Mega Man game, most people's favourite out of the series. Probably, yeah, probably this one and the first one I probably have the most nostalgia for. These are the ones I actually played back in the day. I didn't play three or four until later in life. But yet again, brilliant game. Second Mega Man, great game. Then thirdly, as I was just talking about the third game in the series, another great game. Not one, as I said, I played back in the day. I didn't play it till later in life. But yet again, who doesn't love the original Mega Man games? And lastly, 
of the four that come out in the UK. I think number five or six came out in Europe. It didn't come out over here. But Mega Man 4, I've only played this very little. I know this is probably, people would say, the worst one out of the ones that come out over here in the UK on the NES. So that's Mega Man 4. Another game I have a lot of nostalgia for that I used to play around my mate's house, the arcade game Gunsmoke. I actually think this is a really good conversion of the arcade game. and I just like the box art. This is another thing you can compare between the UK and Europe cover of this game compared to the United States. I actually personally think R1 looks better, but you tell me what you think below in the comments. Faxanadu, action RPG, I believe. Have not played it very much, so this is not nothing I owned back in the day. This is something I found out about later in life when building my collection, so that's Faxanadu. Now, another trio of games. Firstly, Wizards and Warrior 1. Iron Sword Wizards Warriors 2 and finally Wizard Wizard sorry and Warriors 3. I think my mouth's getting dry. So just show that to you. And now Punch Out on the NES. I actually do own the car of Mike Tyson's punch out on the NES but as I don't own it box I don't actually class it as part of my collection I actually have it in my doubles box that I keep in the corner but this is the one when Mike Tyson's license come out where they changed the main man to Mr. Dream I believe it was but I loved this game when I was a kid and I still love it today Mike Tyson's punch out originally but this is just the original punch out. Another series, but I only have two of them. Firstly, the legendary original Castlevania on the NES. I, I think I only played the second one back in the day and I remember not thinking much of it, but when I watched someone play it with a guide, I thought, yeah, it does look okay to me now, but it's one of them games. If you had a guide for it, you'd probably enjoy it. But this one, this one and the third one, people really regard as the best in the series on the NES. It's up to you. Which one do you pick? Castlevania 1 or Castlevania 3? And the game I was just talking about, Simon's Quest. This is the one I played back in the day. Um, as I said, if you've got a guide to this game, uh, it's, it, it would be, I think, a really good game. But that's it, Simon's Quest. Okay, another series. These were called Contra and Super C, I believe, in the US. But over here, we were shamed we'd be calling it Pro Protector. I hated copyrighted things when I was a kid. I remember Lilac Wars and I refused to call it that. I called it Star Fox 64. I think I was the same with Star Wing. I used to call it Star Fox. But I wasn't very clued up on Contra back in the day or Pro Protector. But it, these games I have played now and I very do much enjoy them even though they're very hard. I probably, I think I've enjoyed this a bit more with two players, Couch Co-op. I think that's how most people enjoyed these back in the day. So there's the first one. And secondly, Pro Protector 2, Return to the Evil Forces. Uh, yet again, I think this, as I said, was called Super C, I believe, in America. So if you're wondering what this strange game called Pro Protector 2 is, well, that lets you know. But yet again, really hard game, but great game. Another series I, I thought was much better in the arcade, and that is Double Dragon. This is the first Double Dragon, which unfortunately I don't believe it had two player, if I remember rightly, 
which really let it down. I think Nintendo had a thing about beat em ups and no two player. They did it with this and Final Fight. So that's the first Double Dragon. And obviously next will be Double Dragon 2. I remember, I think I played the Amiga versions of these Double Dragon games, and I, f I remember them actually preferring them. But take your choice, which ones do you prefer? And then finally, Double Dragon 3. Not everyone's favourite in the series, probably people regard this as the worst, but let me know what you think in the comments. Rush Attack. Time Lord. Disney's Adventures in the Magic Kingdom. And now, this is a game I originally played on the Amiga again. And that is off Drag Bad Dudes versus Dragon Ninja. I've actually not played this NES version, but when I saw the box, I was like, hell yeah, that reminds me of the cover on the Amiga with the two dudes here. But yeah, again, I actually really like this game on the Amiga. I've not played it today, so I can imagine, like people said, it doesn't hold up well. Well, the fact the movie was great. And here is Goonies 2. It's a shame a real Goonies 2 movie never come out. I played this, but I only played this in later life. So I'm not sure what I would have thought this as a kid. As I said, with the NES, I got an Amiga in Christmas 1989, which really, as I said, it felt superior. So Goonies 2. Tower Spin. Track and Field 2. I used to love athletics for real when I was a kid. I used to like run for South London Athletics team. And I used to love this, playing this game, my mate, button bashing until we were sweating our nuts off. It was great fun. I loved these button bashing games when I was a kid. Little Nemo, Dream Master. This is another game I remember as a kid really liking and I think it still holds up well today. The original legendary Tetris. Probably be more legendary on the Game Boy, but I actually owned the second Tetris completing box, but I sold it because I believed I only needed one Tetris in my collection on the NES. I felt like it was taking up room where I could put something else. So I just kept the original Tetris. A Psych Bike, another game I really, really remember loving this as a kid and doing my own tracks. Another game of, did it start in the arcade? I'm not too sure, but I just remember making the track, my own tracks and doing some crazy things. Excite Bike was a great game. And the game I owned as a kid, and this brought me back to the NES after my loving of the Amiga and when I got my Mega Drive in 1991 as well. But the, I loved the movies, Gremlins, and when this game came out, I saw it in my local game store and I wasn't disappointed when I got home. Great game. Kirby's Adventure. Kirby's first outing on console. And this is the very first one. Rygar. Something I didn't, another game I didn't find out about until later life. Akairi Warriors. And the game they had to make two of in this country because it felt they were so let down by the first one. And actually the second one is regarded as a very good game. So I thought, yeah, I've got to add this to my collection.
Tecmo World Wrestling, probably the best wrestling game on the NES, even though there's one I'm going to show you that people regard as a load of crap, but I actually have a load of nostalgia for it. Super Off-Road, a game I used to play a lot on the Amiga. I have seen the NES version, but yet again, when I compare this to the Amiga version that I played a lot, it does seem very inferior, even though you could do four player with the adapter. Flintstones, The Rescue, Dino and Hoppy. Well, obviously the cheaper of the Flintstones games, Every, everyone knows the crazy price that the other one goes for. Tiny Toons Adventures. This come out across multiple consoles with them all taking their own spin on the series, but this basically I played on the Game Boy, I believe, a lot back in the day. So the NES version isn't something I played until later on in life. Another game where the name got censored, Shadow Warriors, but the real name of it, they've actually got it on there, Ninja Gaiden. I really don't understand what the Shadow Warriors is about and they've actually got the name of it on there anyway. But this is another game where they thought they were censoring it by putting in Shadow Warriors, I believe. But obviously it didn't turn out very well for them here. But there we go. Shadow Warriors over here, Ninja Gaiden everywhere else. Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. Gauntlet 2. This is a game, the originals I played on the Amiga, not something I played on the NES until later. Bionic Commando. Not much of a racing game fan, but here is Turbo Racing. Ferrari Grand Prix Challenge. And a very beloved game, Batman on the NES. I actually still love the music on this game, even though it's not a game I played much back in the day. I was more acquaintance to the Amiga version, but still, SunSoft made great Batman games during, back in the day to some point. The first, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. There is two of these. I'm not sure if the second one came out in the UK. I think, I know it definitely did in Europe, but uh, here's the first one, great game. Another game I was more acquainted with on the Amiga. I thought the Amiga port was great, but it's Robocop on the NES. This is obviously a port of the arcade game. I, I love the arcade game and I thought the Amiga was a very good port of it. I actually haven't played this version. I've seen videos of it being played and it, obviously it does look a lot inferior to the Amiga version. Gun Shoe, light gun game. And something I was very disappointed with back in the day. I remember going to Butlins in 1989 and playing the original 1989 Ninja Turtles arcade game. And since that day, I, I knew I wanted that game really badly. And it led to this on the NES was the first one. I believe it came out the same year. And I was so disappointed. I thought, this is absolutely terrible. I want the arcade game. So I was disappointed by this. And this is something I actually didn't know come out on the NES back in the day. I know I was disappointed with the Amiga port, but I now I have the arcade game on the NES. 
I know if I would have played this back in the day, I would have been disappointed because it wasn't until Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo and Street Fighter 2 that I felt, to me, the arcade had really come home. So this is still a great game, but not as good as the arcade version. Darkwing Duck. Snake, Rattle and Roll. I remember I tried to play this the other day. That's why I used to play this a lot when I was a kid. I used to like it, but I need to, can't figure out how I figured out what to do when I was a kid. I must have played it a lot, but I played this again as an adult and I couldn't figure out what the hell I was doing. So I might have to try it again. Battle of Olympus. No missions impossible, like Mission Impossible. The Solstice. Solar Jetman. Captain Skyhawk and this is the game the first wrestling game I really got any nostalgia for as I grew up I've got so much nostalgia for this at box here now, it's actually in really good condition and that is the second Wrestlemania game on the NES you've got the big boss man Ultimate Warrior, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, and there's my man in that picture. He's Macho King, Macho Man for most of his career. But people regard this as a crap game, but I actually like it. And I love the box art on this game, Bubble Bobble, and I love the music on this game too. The legendary 80s arcade game, but um, probably better on the Master System, I think, when I've compared to two. Tell me what you think. Another game my friend owned. I used to borrow this off him. Donkey Kong Classics. Gradius. I was more accompanied with shooters on the Amiga, I think I had R-Type on the Amiga and several other shooters, but I never played this on the NES back in the day, but I do love listening to the music of it. Isolated Warrior. The game I played in the arcade and owned on the Amiga, Operation Wolf. Rad Gravity. Power Blade. Tom and Jerry. Blaster Master. Quite a highly regarded game amongst gamers out there. Totally rad, man. Totally rad. Right, so totally rad, as I just said. I actually used to like this game when I was a kid. Not much of an ice hockey fan, though. Blades of Steel, which made this game the fight you used to have to see one and the loser would be sent off. It would be great. The only American game I own, and that is Commando. I don't believe this game actually came out over here. As I said, with like a lot of the NES games, it had this sort of design around them. I believe it must have been Capcom's game because it was Mega Man that had, I believe, this design around it in the United States. But this is the only American game I own.
and unfortunately I don't own the first one that is still one I've got to get and this is the last game I've got to show you and this is Zelda 2 The Adventure Link the second any Zelda on the NES not the best Zelda on the NES unfortunately I found it hard to get hold of the first one in the condition I want it in with the map and the manual it seems to be hard to get over here but it might have to get it from the United States I'm not too bothered with that the boxes were very much the same so and I'll just say the only game I believed that I never bought back that I used to own when I was a kid was Dragon's Lair on the NES. I remember hating it when I bought it when I was a kid, absolutely despising it. So I thought there's one game I'm not getting back in my collection and that is that Dragon's Lair game on the NES. If my mum and dad hadn't have given it to charity with all the rest of my consoles and toys I used to own back in the day, then I would have probably given it to some, I actually paid someone to take it off me to get it off my hands to get rid of years of torment I had having to play that crap so anyway enough of that that is the end of this video I hope you've enjoyed a nice long one for you I hope you come back next time I haven't bored you too much but anyway take care everyone and see you again soon